Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. In the last episode, we finished off Team Unicorn. You were easy. You were alright. You were a pain. Uh, and after five battles of playing, as you say, it's fine time to play as someone else. If we're playing as Jack, um, and, uh, yep, yeah, another battle, or another set of battles has been skipped. The, uh, battle between Team 5Ds and, uh, Team Catastrophe. That's because it'd probably be bloody easy. And then the whole primo stuff with the millions of ghosts. Again! Game, get the game hates ghosts. Oh, ghosts. Anyway, Duel for Redemption. Team 5Ds came out victorious. Yes, but against who? Hmm? Inf N8? Should be Team Catastrophe, but it's not. Their next match was against Team Ragnarok and their mighty Asir cards. Three cards that were rumoured to rival the power of the gods. The first duel was between Jack Atlas and Dragon. Alright. So, let's battle against uh, some Asir cards, shall we? So, uh, Team Ragnarok plays Nordic Beasts as a, as a deck, which is uh, frightening. Uh, but we're playing as Jack Atlas, so we're fine. Well, we've got Call of the Haunted immediately, so that could certainly come in handy later. We have Descending Lost Star. Which is fine, I guess? I mean, depending on what cards we need. I mean, obviously, we have Red Dragon Archfiend, and we have Red Nova Dragon. These are the two cards we certainly want. So, we have a level 4 in Mask Chameleon. Uh, could not be normal summoned if you control a level 5 or higher monster. When this card is normal summoned, you can, spe you can target one monster with zero defense in your graveyard. Special summon that target in defense position. This effect is negated. You cannot special summon any other monster except from the extra deck during the turn you activate this effect. That works pretty well with Power Breaker. If this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effects instead of the graveyard, target one face-up spell or trap card your opponent controls. Destroy the target. If this card attacks, it is changed to defense position at the end of the damage step. So it's got 1,900 attack points, which is pretty bloody good. So I will summon it. Because i got a plan. I can play Mass Chameleon when this thing dies, which is going to eventually die, to get Red Dragon Archfiend out. So that's my plan. Not playing anything else. Your turn, Dragon! Set a card in defense mode. One face down. Two face downs. Three face downs. Ugh, don't like that too much. Right, what do we got? We got Synchro Deflector. Ah, okay. Yeah, that is fine. I'll lay that down. All right. Not summoning another monster just yet. I'm attacking with Power Breaker. It's... Tangrisnir of the Nordic Beasts. Comes forth some Nordic Beast tokens. Two of them. Okay. This card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Special summon two Nordic Beast tokens. Okay, fair enough. Power Breaker now goes into defense mode. And do you know what? I feel... I, I, I don't want to bring this thing out just yet. I'm going to barrier resonator. All right. If I'd, if I'd known... Oh, there's Mystical Space Typhoon. All right. There goes, uh, there goes Synchro Deflector. All right. That's rather annoying. Vanadis! The Nordic Ascender. Oh, balls. Oh, God. Oh, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> Bollocks. It's his Synchro Monster! Oh, good... Yes, yes, I will destroy Call of the Haunted. Get rid of it. All right, that's a lot of damage I just took there. Right, four, Lord of the Asia. Once per turn, you can negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. Uh, during the end phase of this card, if this face-up card was, was uh, you controlled was destroyed by your opponent's card, by battle or by card effect instead of the graveyard, this turn, you can banish one Nordic Beast Tuna Monster from your graveyard. Special summon this card. If summoned this way, inflict 800 points of damage to your opponent. It's a level 10 Synchro Monster with 3,500 attack points. That's nuts. I can get Red Dragon Archfiend out on the field. But I can't do anything with it. That's the problem. Like, I can't do anything with it. God. 
Okay. All right. Let's set a card in defense mode. Sure, I will. I will summon. Uh, I will summon Mask Chameleon. And I will activate ability to get Power Breaker back. Sod it. Sod it. It's bad. It's a bad idea. But sod it. Red Dragon Archfiend. Welcome to the game. Nothing really I can do at this point, really, is there? Alright, I'll end my turn. I could activate Call of the Haunted, but that would be a stupid idea at this point. Guild Fakes. Oh, Guild Facts of the Nordic Beasts. And Solemn Authority! Activate this card by targeting one ACM monster you control. It cannot be targeted by other card effects while this card's on the field. Send this card to the graveyard during your second standby phase after activation. Fair enough. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right, so you're going to battle, obviously. You're going to get rid of Red Dragon Archfiend, obviously. And... Screw you. Call the Haunted? <laughs> I'm taking it right back, if you don't mind. Uh, no, I do not want to activate the Sending Lost Star as a chain. There you go. Screw you. Right. Can I find a way to get rid of that Thor? No. Fight destroys... Ooh, okay. When this card you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can half the current attack of one face at monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Wish I knew that earlier before he played that, because that negates it, I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's not amazing. What I can at least do is get rid of that. All right, Red Dragon Archfiend. It's going to be a tough one, this. It's going to be a tough one, this. Oh, God. And he's immediately just replaced it with um, uh, Tang Jostir of the Nordic Beasts. Oh, good. All right. All right. I said, wish I could have used that earlier. Wish I could have done that earlier. Bugger. All right. Well, there goes Red Dragon Archfiend again. I could have. I could have. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not summoning it back now. Got no chance. Right, I, I can still at least attempt to. Right, what have we got here? We got Bri we got Bryce Synchron. This card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material until the end of the turn. The synchro monster that used this card as synchro material gains 600 attack. That is pretty good. That is very good. But, problem is, I don't think I have anything that I can actually use it with. Uh, if I had Call the Haunted, I would. Oh, god damn it. Uh, Alright, hang on. We'll try this again. Uh, yes, I, I know of, of the whole Mass Chameleon thing. I already used that, and it. Look at that got me. Uh, Alright. Dragons kicking my ass at the moment. It's not a good start for me. Right. If I can get that combo, though, I can get rid of his Nordic Beast for one turn. That's the problem. Right. What have we got this time? We've got Trap Eater. Okay. Cannot be normal and summoned or set. Must be special summoned by sending one face up trap card your opponent controls to the graveyard. Cannot be special summoned by other ways. All right. That's a way to get rid of that. That's brilliant. That's really good. Right. Secret Blast Wave. That's pretty good as well. Prideful Roar. During damage calculation, if your uh, monster battles an opponent's monster with our attack, pay life points equal to the difference in attack. Your monster gains attack equal to that difference, plus 300 during damage calculation only. I think that's worth the risk. I think to kick off, that is worth the risk. I'm summoning Mass Chameleon in attack mode. 
I'm ending my turn. It's a shame I've just got nothing but tuna monsters in my hand right now. That's not the best. Right. Well, there goes that. There goes my prideful roar. <sighs> Swords are revealing light. Oh, good. All right. I'm summoning out Giant Orc. All right. With this... I can get Red Dragon Archfiend out on the field. Brilliant. Shame I don't have a Magic Eater. That'd be bloody awesome, wouldn't it? Ugh. Right. Red Dragon Archfiend. Can't attack this turn. Because the Swords are Revealing Light. But at least it's on the field. I'll take it. Right! Dragon! Your turn. It's that Tangrisnir. Oh. Oh, God! Okay. Nordic Relic Brizny... Yeah. Okay. Well, you just destroyed my thing! Cheers for that, asshole! It's fine, because I can just get him back out again, but I really don't want to at this point. I really don't want to. Alright. Um... What will be best here? Probably Bry Synchron. I'll set you in defense mode for the moment. I will get him back. Don't worry, I will get him back. I've already got a plan to get him back. I just want you to play that trap card. Go on, play that trap card. All right, you're getting rid of that. That's annoying. There goes a couple of your cards, though. And 200 points of damage has been done to me. And defense. Okay. Just wasting turns at the moment until Swords of Revealing Light goes away. Right, pinpoint guard. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target one level four or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. That's pretty good. I will use that. All right. Um, which I'm going to do it now. Yeah, I'm going to do it now. Right, Mass Chameleon. I shall activate your effect. I shall get Giant Orc back to the field in defense mood. And I will get another Red Dragon Archfiend out. Bloody need it at this point. All right. Second Red Dragon Archfiend to be released. Yay. Next turn, I can attack with it. So please don't have any... Nordic... Don't have him. Please don't have him. You have him, I think. No, you don't. And you got rid of my Red Dragon Archfiend. You bastard. You absolute bastard! Ah! No, you don't, because you don't have a tuna monster. Of course you don't. Alright. I've got Twin Sword Marauder. Uh, I can make a second attack. Okay. Twin Sword Marauder's got to do here. It's got to do to try and stop the rot so far. Alright. Get rid of that. Piercing damage. Attack. Get rid of that. Damn it! It's that Briz... Brisinga thing again. I hate that thing now. Ah! Okay, well, at least I got rid of that. At least. Right, he's playing nothing. Okay. Descending Lost Star. Might as well play it down, but that's all I got. That is all I've got for the moment. Now I'm going to keep getting this bleeding prompt. Go away, prompt! Alright, another defense card. I have nothing on the field right now. I mean, I could block his attack with pinpoint guard, I guess, but that's about it. Call of the Haunted. Brilliant. Exactly what I was looking for. And I've got a perfect target in mind. And no, it's not Red Dragon Archfiend. Red Dragon Archfiend is not going to win me this. Twin Sword Marauder, on the other hand, might. Another face down card. Oh, good. Oh, good. Another Call of the Haunted. All right, so I have an out now. Brilliant. Okay. Nope. I'm not falling for that. I'm not falling for that trap. Not happening. Right. Come on. What do you got? Tangrisnir. 
Okay. You're attacking me directly with it. No, you're not. Activate pinpoint guard. I would like... Sorry, I'll take giant orc. Actually, no, hang on. Nope, that's bad. That was a really bad move because it's just going to be destroyed again, isn't it? Oh, if it's changed defense position. Ah, well, it didn't get changed defense position. It was summoned in defense position. Different. All right, I have giant orc now. Who's pretty bloody strong. Right, we have Barrier Resonator. Uh, send this card from your hand to the graveyard and target one tuna monster you control. This turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and you take no battle damage from attacks involving it. Not too shabby. Right. Let's activate Call of the Haunted. I would like... Twin Sword Marauder back. Thank you very much. Nope, that's it. Right. Giant... No, 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 no. Stop that immediately. Giant Orc! Attack... You. Right, that's a thousand points of damage. Okay. Oh, you're just playing that, are you? Fair enough. Yep, you can't... Yeah, you can't use his ability now, can you? Hey, <laughs> fool! Okay, right. Let's start taking down these tokens, shall we? With pinpoint precision by Twin Sword Marauder. And so I'm keeping that second call the haunted just in case we need it. Just in case we need it. Giant Orc's back in defense mode. All right. Come on, he's got zero attack points. Try it. Try him. Go on. Attack my orc! He's gonna attack my orc. Aha! Garm of the Nordic Beasts. Okay. Right, you're attacking the giant orc. Nope, I'll let that go through. I will let that go through, my friend. Alright. Another face down card. That is the one I'm worried about. Because I could end this now, I think. But I do not want to risk it at all. All right, we have another mass chameleon, which works pretty well for us, so I'll play it. Because with mass chameleon, since I don't have any level 5 or higher monsters, I can get giant orc back out. So there you go. And it was summoned in defense mode, so it's fine. Right, let's get another one out, shall we? Red Dragon Archfiend number 3. There! Red Dragon Archfiend. All right. Now, I do have an out anyway with uh, Call of the Haunted. So, regardless of what you do, I'm pretty good here. Attack! 2200 points of damage? Alright, he had nothing. He had nothing behind him there. That's fine. Alright, you have 100 life points left. It's him again. Alright, well I could just kill that then, can't I? Get owned. You lose! Yes! Ah, oh, we beat Dragon. There you go. Just need to just need to not have his uh, Lord of the Asia come out. Did not want Thor out at all. Uh, so yeah, we got Thor, Lord of the Asia. We got uh, uh, Solemn Authority, and we got uh, Tangnos, Tangjos, that thing, the, the the thing that looks like a demon sheep goat thing. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go for a break here. We're playing as Crow next. Um, for tricking the trickster. Um, actually, no. Let's do it in a pack. Let's, let's buff out the video a little bit with a pack. Kaiba! Kaiba, give me your stuff. For funsies. What are you going to give me? Sebig's Blessing. Alright, fair enough. Temple of the Kings as well. That'd be interesting, I guess. Give me more, Kaiba! You blue eyes, go on. You gave me Lava Golem. Fair enough. Alright, uh, uh, let's go for a Trudge deck. Trudge! Give me good stuff, like Goyo Guardian. You gave me Cloud Castle! Oh, great. 
You gave me Avenging Knight Parshath. You gave me Kaganigan. Ningen, sorry. Kaganin Kaganingen. Who sucks. You gave me Cloud Castle. And you give me Avenging Knight Part. You've also given me uh you've also given me Gonogo Ganogo as well, which is quite nice. And some six and a six uh, samurai card. Not too shabby. One more trudge! Go your guardian, go on. Well Okay. Handcuffs Dragon! I quite like that card. Um I used to have it in my dragon deck a long time back. You know, when synchro monsters were Barely a thing, and I didn't know how to use them. I've also got a gate blocker as well. Um, which is a pretty decent defense card. It sort of blocks things like counters and, uh, or, like, putting counters on cards and field spell cards. So, essentially, destroys Cloudians and Venom monsters. Pretty good. <laughs> Absolutely destroys them, does gate blocker. Oh, wow, another blast from the past. Midnight Fiend. Another crap card. We did get, we did get, uh, Cosmic Horror, uh, Ganji-il, Ganji-il. Ain't too shabby, I guess. Uh, and some Ice Barrier cards as well, that's right. One more! One more trudge! I got, look, look at all the stuff I got, anyway. Look at all the amount I've got that I can use. Chain Strike. Alright. Rallis! Oh, I love Rallis the Starbird! This card gains attack equal to the level of the monster that it battles times 200 during the damage step only. If this card attacks, it is removed from play until the end of the damage step and is returned to your side of the field in face of attack position at the beginning of your next turn's battle phase. Essentially, this thing's pretty damn good. Because let's put it this way, let's say you're going against a level 10 monster or something like that. You know, this thing gains like 200 attack to make 2800 you know that's that's pretty good i mean not for level 10 obviously but also if you can successfully kill something with it it then comes back to you at the start of your next turn so it can't be attacked um so you can use it for things like synchro uh summons or xe summons or whatever you want to use it for not too bad we also got toy magician another ice barrier card dark knight's pasha um and that guy again. Uh, Karakuri Merchant 177 Inasichi. God, Yu-Gi-Oh makes some really odd names for cards. I don't know what's worse, that or Gogiga Gagagigo. Bet you're surprised I got that on the first try. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here, but in the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. We'll be carrying on through the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds campaign with Tricking the Trickster. Oh, if they're based off gods, we've had four. Trickster. Hmm. Is it Loki by any chance? Of course it bloody is, because I watched 5Ds. But, oh, sorry for anyone, for anyone who didn't watch 5Ds, it's Loki. Anyway, I'll see you then.